Oh, it's too little. Ah, 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 it's too little. We're here. Thank God. <laughs> oh my God, it's humongous. <laughs> there he is. Da, 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 da. Oh. Oh. oh my God. We are headed to the Deadpool Wolverine premiere. I received a delivery this morning. I'm pretty sure it's my thank you card. Do they just give these out for free? Yes, yeah, isn't he cute? He is the cutest. The best thing that makes your stuff cute is that little eye. <laughs> I'll figure it out as I go. We're doing a lot. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Luna. I make daily life vlogs and studio vlogs about running my little online store that sells stickers and stationery. <laughs> it's called littlemushroom.com. These vlogs are great to pop on in the background while you're trying to get a task done, so let's energy tether each other. <laughs> Hello, it is Tuesday. I am starting a course of amoxicillin trihydrate, clavulanic acid. This is to try to help with what's going on with my lungs. All this antibiotics and stuff makes me nervous because I think about like how tired I'm going to be on top of how tired I already am. Can't afford to be tired right now because I have a launch coming up. And by the time you see this video, it's from, my business is probably already launched. So ah, I took three days off of doing anything for my business so that I could just reset after I submitted all of the artwork and everything to manufacture. Just take three days to like chill Spend time with Tolga for our three year anniversary. And now we're, it's back on. We got, we got our moxicillin and <coughs> it does not feel good being in my body. I ordered Sendal satchels so that those in Australia, unfortunately Australia only, can get cheaper shipping because Sendal has a thing where they have a satchel called the Sendal satchel and there's no weight limit on it. As long as it seals shut and doesn't like burst open, they will send it for a 500 gram price. So I thought that would be the safest, cheapest option for anyone within Australia. I think it takes like one or two dollars off. Okay. It's the first time I've spoken for a bit, so my voice is clearing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <coughs> I'm gonna get you your water, okay? Okay, thank you. <sighs> well, it smells like caramel, what the hell? They are biodegradable compostable satchels, so it just made sense. There you go. So they're A4 size, which is perfect because I don't think I'm making anything bigger than an A4 in stationery. Hello, it is Thursday and I have two packages to open. So let's get that started. One of them is the corrected Habibi die cut stickers. Uh, and the other one, I think is packaging for shipping small items. So A6 board backed envelopes. I can't touch anything because it feels like cardboard. Oh, it's too little. I got these in case anybody buys just stickers, just die cut stickers, not sticker sheets, little things. There's no use me sending a giant envelope with like little things in it. I don't believe things of this size can be tracked. So if you buy something this small, you'll probably only receive the untracked option, but we'll see. It's literally the same size as a shipping label. Habibi corrected die cut stickers. The previous ones didn't come out with the right cut line. You would have seen it in a couple of vlogs ago, potentially. Um, I designed them so that they'd be filled in like this on both antennae, but uh, unfortunately something happened in their software where it did this. So I messaged them and they were so lovely about it. They were immediately like, yep, here you go. We're going to send them express for you. Don't worry about it. And here they are. Yay, it's corrected. <laughs> I've just checked it. I just double checked it. It's corrected. So that's the, that's the, uh, the one that came out wrong and that's the one that's come out right. So yay, Habibi stickers have been corrected. Now Tolga has secured tickets to uh, a live filming of a show that we have here called Thank God You're Here. It's probably in other places in the world, but <laughs> it's an improv skit show it features Australian celebrities and they get, they have to go through a door and then they're presented with a situation and they all have to improvise. We're not allowed to film anything in there for obvious reasons. It's a, sh it's a filming of a TV show and um, 
but we can film all the way up to like getting there and afterwards and I won't spoil anything but yeah that's what we're doing for the evening so I need to go get ready because we're leaving in like an hour so let's go to film on my phone because they took my bag and my camera and stuff. So we're here. Thank God. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get some refreshments. And yeah, watch the show. I can't film inside though. Just this bit. Oh god. I smell food. I smell food. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're not allowed to say anything about what happened on the show, so we won't. Anyway, we had a fun night and um, looking forward to seeing what they do with what happened <laughs> when they air it. <laughs> Don't, we can't say anything. Oh. We came into the city because Tolga wanted ramen and we wanted to specifically go to a specific ramen place but when we were trying to find parking the roads were closed and so we just kind of waddled, waddled <laughs> off in our car, drove off and found a parking spot. The parking spot was outside of a halal lanjiao beef noodle soup place yeah, <laughs> and we just went, we just went let's just go in there. As we're leaving, Zachary Ruane from Auntie Donna walks in and we are just starstruck and stupefied. We're like, oh, it's it's Zach. You know that thing where if you know someone, but they don't know you, but because you've been watching them on TV and and, and the internet, and you just go up and be like, hey, so and so, but you don't give them context because you forget to. Like if we're at PAX and someone comes up to us and goes, hey, Tolga, oh, hey man, and you're like, fuck, who's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't we didn't give them the context, and that's what I'm. That's what freaking out about the anxiety because we Zachary Ruain was so sorry <laughs> Sa we're sorry man we're so sorry Zachary we're... Ruain <laughs> stop saying this from <laughs> Auntie Donna oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's fine it's fine he was cool he was cool about it Zach if you're watching we love you and I'm sorry <laughs> I know exactly what this. Just in case. You never know. Um, uh, it's been so long since I did anything work related with them that I was like, I'm not even going to say hi. I'm just going to keep walking. And then this puppy dog. And they were like, hey man. And I was like, oh God. Oh God. This is just my, how I do, how I exist. This, this is, is my anxiety. Social anxiety. My anxiety <laughs> is constantly going. I'm like, we just, oh no. I was like, hi, I'm Luna. This is dog weather. And way. then out of fucking. <laughs> Some sort of like brain fumble. I said, Oh, yeah, I'm Luna. She's that's Tonga. <laughs> oh, <Well>, anyway, <laughs> it happened. <coughs> that was really funny because it was like a moment where Tonga goes, Oh, we just got back from Thank God You're Here. And he was like, Oh, okay. And he sounded like really, like, really, like, that was cool. You know, that was like a moment. It was like, Yeah, yeah, we just did something cool. Like, and the Tonga was like, We were in the audience. I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want to lie to the guy, you know. I just like, oh, we sound so cool right now. We would just back, go back from thank God you're here, and and then when I said we're in the audience, he's like, oh, mate. And I was like, I don't know. I didn't feel I didn't feel that awkward. I felt so awkward. I felt all of the awkward for the for the both of us. When we leave from the conversation, I go, oh man, I should have said, <laughs> we know you because of this. We worked on this with you. <laughs> We're not just some randos who just stop you in the street and fangirl over you, although we kind of did.
It is Monday today and I have received a sticker order for, I think, my little fungus stickers. This sticker is the last die cut sticker that I need before launch day, so I'm really nervous because there's no more time after this. If there's anything wrong with these stickers, I'm screwed. <laughs> oh my god, it's humongous! <laughs> okay. Oh wow. There he is! Ah, it's humongous! That's so big! I haven't got my head around the fact that, yeah, three inches is... <laughs> three inches. Okay, they feel velvety soft. Now at the time of filming this, I have not named this little guy. The one that I'm leaning towards is just fungus. <laughs> just like Gus for short, but fungus. The obvious choice that most people go for is fun guy, but I don't want that. I'm over that pun. I want something else. By the time you see this video, I would have hopefully already named it because the, the shop should be live by the time I'm uploading this video. Oh, that makes me feel sick to my stomach to think about. But they're here. Oh, they're so good. I also got an email saying that my uh, Fungi Town mushroom notepads are out for delivery today. So at some point today, we're going to unbox those and quality check those. And I'm scared and nervous, but excited at the same time. And oh my God, I have mushroom stickers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on with the day. I brought my face! <laughs> this is a nuclear power plant. Wait, 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 I have wait, wait. Which, which face do you have? <laughs> okay, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to recreate it. Okay. Wait, Ness hasn't even seen the other notebooks. Oh, oh we're gonna do so many reactions. So many reactions. Okay, alright, so my second notebooks have arrived today. Are these in the Fungi Town series? These are from the Fungi Town series. <laughs> oh my God. Very many oh, little things. Oh, I love these ones in there. Da 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 da! I did the face. <laughs> Holy crap. The little mushrooms. Hang on, I need my hands free for a minute. Go <laughs> <laughs> punch these floors, I've already done it, it hurts. Oh <laughs> my god, I, I love these. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and then that's the set they go with. <gasps> Little guy. It's the little guy. Oh my god, these are so cute. Can you check them? Check no. Them. Thumb. Yeah, I've got to go through and check all the glue on them and then hopefully. Oh, I love no these. Issues. Yeah, they're so fun. Because oh, Neff hasn't seen these ones. And they, and they go and they go in the glasses so well. <laughs> <laughs> Mush them on the head! Mush them on the head. No. Those are the other ones. <laughs> oh, yes! I love these. <laughs> so then we put those three together. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I've never tried to do that noise. Yeah. Oh, I love. Oh my god, this is so cute. Those are my products. I love the um, the like the the little trademarky sort of like eye shine thing that yeah. you've got going on. This is so cool. I love that they're different. Like how this one's just notes, oh. and this one has like. The, yeah. all the things so that's really cool because like my mum likes things that are lined yeah and she will probably use this one as a like a shopping list mm. and then that one's more like get stuff done and get a reward so and it's and gonna I like, be i like things that are center aligned <laughs> <laughs> i've already planned out what i'm doing with mine <laughs> that's my phone that'll sit under my phone on my desk at work yeah that's my phone note taking yes. book because I, because usually what happens when my phone calls at work, people just like spew a bunch of information at me, and yeah. I can't brain. I can't. So yeah. I'm just like writing it down as they're talking. Yeah. So that's really good for that. And then I need to do ones. I love them. I ordered a corner punch press. Oh, you did. Finally had some money to hey! buy a big one. So then I'll I'll pr punch all the corners, <gasps> and then I'll give you a stack to take to work. Yes. <laughs> I got pre-punched. <laughs> So I'm like, twitch, twitch. <laughs> holy crap, yeah, the, the shine, the raised shine. <gasps> I have products! I love them all! <laughs> Hot squad! The little sets are cute together. They're I'm so like, cute they together. Are. I'm like, oh my god. Buy them all, all at once. 
and I finally found a sticky note manufacturer for future oh releases. God, really? So I'll, I'll I'll maybe build up a little bit of stuff and then make some yeah. sticky notes as well. Day of August, get you a little bit from <laughs> things. I reckon this video will probably be live when the store's already live. Get them now! <laughs> get them yesterday. <laughs> also, I have to say, the, the colouring, yeah. I love the, the it's purple. Yeah. It's just, it's, 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 it's purple. It's purple and my nails, kind of. Oh, yes! yes. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, I'm just like, Look, and I learned how to do backwards. <gasps> oh, is that with your label maker? Yeah. So, so like say I'm doing a market mm -hmm. and I get my little selling app out. I'm gonna do a market. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's pretend you're, you're a customer. Yeah. Okay, and you're like, oh, just those today. Okay, no worries. And then I get to do this. Beep. Wait, wait, wait. Come on. So this one we put in. Maybe this one hasn't been put in. Oh, there it is. <gasps> and then I go like this. Oh, and it adds it to a little oh, god thing. That one. I'm the creepy, <laughs> creepy person that isn't a customer but is walking, <laughs> walking like back and forth. Like, I, think it, I think it takes a little bit longer than it needs to take. But all right. and then I go to cart and then all the <gasps> items are there. <laughs> That's so good. And then you can go do the checkout thing and they can do the ding. That's yeah. perfect. Oh my god. Yay! And it takes the stock out of my Shopify store, <gasps> so I don't oh, have to smart. keep that updated. That's really manually. smart. I thought so too. I was very excited. I think fungus is the name of I like for. fungus. Or like Gus. Fungus. Yeah. Fun Gus. He's like Fun Gus. He's Fun Gus. This stack is the stack of all the ones with glue peeling off them and various other issues and I'm a little bit like a little bit frustrated but I know that I can message them and they will redo them but I'm like why do I have to message you and get you to redo them for them to be good quality <laughs> like can you just send can you just like double check them before you send them because this is a stack of like 18 that the glue is peeling off so I'm, I'm just a little frustrated because it's like a lot of them have got glue peeling off. Some of them have got like um, like a blade slice through the glue part. So this is the top of the notepad and it's doing that. So um, I'll put that one aside because it's like a special case where I'll, I'll separate. I'll write everything down in the email individually of what's wrong with each thing. But it's just a little frustrating because I am less than two weeks from launch and I know that now I have to be like even more ahead of myself in order to make sure that I have time to correct any ma manufacturing mistakes. But um, yeah, it's just disappointing that I have to do this. <laughs> That's 18 so far. I haven't finished through the box, so I'm gonna keep going. I might do that off camera and we'll come back when we'll see how many are good. <laughs> okay, I've gone through them all. <laughs> I surprisingly only have 23 that are in sellable quality. There is 29, I think, that have all have got the glue peeling off the corner. And there's one that's just got a, a different issue with a few pages that are loose, which is fine, that's a spare. So of the order, I think they sent me three spares in total. That gives us 27 that I can ask to have remanufactured. So I'm gonna take some photos and send that through to the manufacturer now. <sighs> Last time it was 11, approximately 11 bad ones. This time it's 27, that's concerning. My reaction is coming out, which is a little bit more of a frustrated, impatient feeling, but I know that that's what it is. It's just feeling frustrated and impatient because I have a deadline. Once again, the 23 that are good are amazing, perfect, beautiful, stunning. I just don't know how this, it always, it's always in the top right hand corner. At least I've got some that I can photograph and I can at least put 23 in the store for now. Hope that the replacements come back in in time for launch, but if not, then I'll just restock when they're available. I don't know, I'm creating contingency plans when I haven't even sent the email. So let's just send the email and see what happens. put everything into a table 
because it needs to make sense. So this is how many I'm missing so that, that way they know that's how many I need. But yeah, it's got a photo and everything uh, and more photos and stuff like that. I always make sure to word my emails to manufacturers really politely and positively because there's nothing worse than making a mistake and just being like destroyed for it. I always find that they're a lot more helpful if you're nice and polite. Uh, I have never sent an angry email to manufacturers or anything like that. So I understand how frustrating it gets, but if you take that frustration out on the worker, like the person reading the email is the person who receives it and it doesn't feel good. So like I literally will start with like, you know, sorry to be emailing with an issue. And then I'll say like, 24 of them came out perfect perfect and beautiful, but then I'll be like, unfortunately the glue on this many has is peeling off. Um, here's the photos and here's the here's the counts. And then at the end I'll be like, thank you so much for your help in advance and like say something nice. Like I'm telling the manufacturer that I'm really excited about launching these in my store and have a wonderful day, blah, blah, blah. So last time I did this, they sent a really positive email back and were like, yeah, we'll get this sorted for you immediately. And then I left them a really lovely review about it and they sent back a nice message thanking me for my review. So keeping a positive relationship with your manufacturer is very important. I think from now on when I order notepads, I'm going to put a note in there to say, please double check top right corners for peeling glue, known issue or something like that as positively as I can. It's the 22nd of July right now. So it's just less than two weeks till launch and <sighs> Once again, I'm going to use the loose sheets from the um, faulty notepads and test out highlighters and pens and things like that on them. Keeping in mind, I did not make these notepads um, for highlighters. If you put a pink highlighter or an orange highlighter or a purple highlighter on green, it tends to not come up properly. So these aren't made with highlighters in mind. Having said that, I still want to test them and see what things look like. So let's test them together. Honestly, I feel like they're pretty close. Like, yeah, there's a little desaturation in the warmer tones, but like you can still highlight and still see the color fine. So I've got nothing to worry about. If you want to highlight on your notes pad, you're good. Also, if you want to know what highlighters I'm using, these are just the Anko ones from Kmart. They're my favorite. They blend really nicely with each other. And if I can figure out how to make my own version of these, then I will. But you don't have to buy fancy highlighters. You can just grab some from Kmart and they're, they do the job. Oh, it's your boy. Oh, I love you so much. I still have homework and assignments left over from my course. I'm taking a moment to quickly have a look at what I have left now that some time has passed and I'm finally able to do them because some of them require me to actually be running my business or doing stuff in my business. So I've actually had a look through my marketing plan. Past me is a genius. I just, past me is a genius. And I've come across this section that I filled out about what is my tagline for my business. I've completely forgot that I wrote this down. I'll tell you what it is in a second. I've just been like writing things on Instagram, like cute stickers and art to make your inner child squee or something like not really thought out very well. And I'm looking at my marketing plan and it says, what is your tagline? And I've written, for when your mind is a little too mush. Past me is a genius. <laughs> so I'm gonna be changing all my socials to be saying like cute stickers and stationery for when your mind is a little too mush. Cause that's the, po that's the whole point of this. It's to help your brain. <laughs> it's to make you feel a little bit more control of your life. When your mind is a little too mush, you can write a checklist and write a note and what the fuck passed me? Why didn't you remember? <laughs> That's why these documents exist. And I'm so glad I opened this document today. Oh, I just, I'm so happy. I'm so happy with that. So proud of past me. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, look at this lip. Look at this boy. <laughs> Get fucked. That is so cute. Little boy. Oh man, oh yeah. That's <laughs> fucking great. Baba, are you kidding me? <coughs> Bro.
Oh, you look so pretty. I'm a matching it. You're matching. A match. Oh, it's so soft. It looks amazing, Baba. Yeah. Oh, look at it. It's cute, huh? It's so good. Yeah. I love you smell everything. I need the scent. That's why I need the, the scent. scent. This looks so good, dude. Look at it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Baba. Those are my two scents. I am, I am like, I am so fucking proud of you, Baba. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> You did it, Baba! Look at them! They're oh here. my god! Like I'm not, I'm not playing this up for the camera. I promise you, but like I am just so fucking proud of you. Look at them! They're just like they're here. <laughs> they're the actual. You products. got two fucking sets, man. You can touch them and use them. Yeah, they're fucking brilliant. Oh sorry, oh sorry, baby. That was me. I overexcited, Baba. <gasps> That's all. Thank you for reacting. <laughs> It's all done. Oh. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> what is it? The. I was like, I love that shit. Snuggled. It's on the TV right now. No, get rid of the text. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with Alex's legs? They're fucking naked. And what do you say in the video? What did I say? Fucking pants on, and he's got no. Called it! I fucking called it! I wonder if he took them off. I reckon they I reckon, set it up. Yeah. I reckon they set it up. He but that was a, full set it up. That was glorious. Alex, I, I fucking love you, bro. <laughs> what did you do? Oh my god, I'm scared. What did you just do? Hmm? Did you? <laughs> Wait for it. It's skinny. Don't move, don't move. Good boy, Jinjo. He's a good boy on the scanner. He's a good boy. Oh. Oh. That's gonna be the most cursed freaking photo ever. <laughs> it's gonna look like the devil, basically. <laughs> this is from earlier. <laughs> and now what do we got? Wait for it. Oh, <laughs> little beans. <laughs> now I want to scan all the cats. I just was like working and I just heard and I look over and Ginger is scanning himself and I don't know how he did it. He's he pushed He's pushed all the buttons. I had the scanner open so like I don't know how he started like the first one he did himself which looks like that's the first one he did. <laughs> I don't know how he did this by himself, but that's his self-portrait. And then I saw he was sitting on it, so then I I went over and started pushing the button, which got better shots. <laughs> oh, look at those little beans. But now I want to scan all the cats. Hello, what day is it today? It is... It is... Mm. Oh shit, Wednesday. I don't even know. Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's a day. Oh, it's Tuesday. No, it's and Tuesday. It is a day. No, that's all. We're rolling. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. We're here with Fatsby, and we are headed to the Deadpool Wolverine premiere. <laughs> we were invited by Marvel. Because it's so cool. <laughs> Did you like it, Fatsy? It's the best really ever you do. It's so 
good. I mean, I can't uh, see you back there. I am here too. It's okay. We're fine. There she is. The shadows. The shadows no. to tell you to go watch the movie because it's awesome. Uh, seriously. By the time you see this video, it'll been out for like two weeks. So. Doesn't matter, people. That we saw it before you. Need, yeah, yeah. I would still need the reminder to go see it. So go uh, see honestly, it. yeah, seriously, I would. You'll go like that. It was yeah. fucking incredible. Yeah. One of the best goddamn Marvel movies I've ever seen. So like straight up. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That was that was like next to Infinity War and and Endgame for me. What's this in your face? <laughs> My shots. You were like screaming with joy the whole movie. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was incredible. Like I, yeah. I can't, I can't fault it in any way. I seem very stunned, but that is because <laughs> I'm trying not to say anything that would spoil it. No and spoilers. All I can think about is how awesome I was. Okay. Things I want to say about it, but make I sure you wait for the post credits, the post post credits. Yeah, cool. Yes. And Time's that's two. it. Times two. <laughs> okay, we're home from Deadpool, and I received a delivery this morning. I'm pretty sure it's my thank you card, so gonna open them now. I didn't have time before Deadpool, so I've been thinking about them pretty much all day. Oh. That's the thank you card. The thank you card cottage. I need you, want to, you can take one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that feels... Mm. Okay, so I'm learning that I need to brighten everything up a little bit when I make designs. Like, cause they look so bright on the iPad cause it's a backlit device. Yeah. Sorry, the first thing I do is look for all the things that are wrong to improve for the future. But other than that, they're quite cute. They are freaking cute as hell, man. I'll cover up the like, all the text on the back. Sorry. But there's like the thank you stuff. There's a, there's a code on there. I don't want you to have it if you didn't buy something. So. Um, and when my corner press comes, I will cut all the corners oh. off of these. But I think, like, look, even like the rainbow in the sky, yeah. the sky looks really cute. So yeah, it's a collectible card. It's a like, collectible art card, and um, this is the first one. And it says all the thank you stuff on the back, but the front is just a plain art card. And if you can find my signature, you win. You don't win anything. You just get the title of I found Luna's signature. <laughs> It took her a long time to make this, by the way. Yeah, I spent a long time drawing this. I need to stop that, otherwise it's gonna get oversteady. I made thank you cards. Okay, and tomorrow I have my second meeting with my business coach, so I'm just preparing um, little kits of my product to take to show her what progress I've made and bring my notebook and create a little, little thing. <laughs> I can't make words right now. Just bring everything that I've done so she can see what I've done so far and um, making sure I've got my checklist and everything that I want to ask her um, but yes I'm just doing prep Wednesday, and this is one of those rare moments where you'll see me in the driver's seat of the car. Um, today I have my coach, business coach meeting. Uh, because Togo and I share a car, um, I drove in with him to work and then I'm taking his car. I absolutely get so nervous driving nowadays. It is <laughs> so funny how much it's changed. Once I lost my car and like the familiarity of the same car for 16 years, I just couldn't anymore. I just can't drive anymore. I just picked up a bunch of these small drawer organizers from Kmart. They were $5 each. I've been looking for something to help me organize my stickers with more space, but also dividers. I have like a very specific set of needs for my sticker storage. They have to fit the Kallax shelf that I have. They have to um, be a certain width. They have to be a certain height. Uh, because I put little glass shelves in so they have to fit within those parameters and I finally found something that I think will work. they are got adjustable compartments so I can move them to whatever size sticker because the three inch stickers are not really fitting well in the storage I currently have which was also a Kmart purchase and I just wanted to find something that would actually work. At least they're adjustable. At least I know I have at least three compartments per, sh per container and I bought 
nine of these. I went into the post office earlier and I was so freaking, my brain just sometimes just forgets what I'm there to do. And I had to send a parcel. So I sent the parcel and when she said anything else, I was like, no, that's all good. And we started walking off and Tolga's like, didn't you want to ask them like about your packaging and would it be classified as a letter and all that sort of stuff. But I just, I freaked out and I was like, oh, I'll come back later, I'll come back later. Cause I was just like, I get so embarrassed. I don't know why. I do know why, autism, social anxiety. Um, so I had literally brought with me, let me find it. I brought this little foldable packaging with me so that I could test it out. But I freaked out and I didn't, I didn't ask. So I told her to work and then I came back to the post office on my own. And I was a little bit emotional. Just, I'm just having a day. It's my, it's my first day of my period as well. So it just, it just felt like everything was a bit much. I'm okay. Um, anyway, so I, I went up to the counter and I was like, hello, um, I'm here in a research capacity. And I told him, I said, I'm starting a little business and um, I'll probably be using Australia Post Services. And I was like, basically what I'd like to know is what my limitations are for sending something as a letter. I go, I've got these and I don't know if they'd be qualified as a letter even because because they're covered in cardboard. Does it have to be an envelope? It's literally, they were, and then he was like so lovely. He looked like Santa Claus and he was so nice. And he immediately said, I'll be right back. And he went out the back and got me this thing. And I really, I don't know, I can't express to you how happy I am to have this because it's a visual, it's a visual, physical test reminder. I don't have to remember measurements. I don't have to remember like measure packages. I can literally just go, does it fit through the slot? And if it fits through the slot, we're good. And I was like, oh, how much does that cost? And he was like, oh no, you can have it. And I was like, do they just give these out for free? I didn't know that. And he started asking me like about my business and um, I was wearing a mushroom jumper. I've taken it off because I'm overheated, but I had a mushroom jumper on and mushroom earrings. And he goes, does your business have anything to do with mushrooms by any chance? And I sort of went, ha ha, how did you guess? Like, obviously I'm covered in mushrooms. And he just giggled. And then I was like, well, would you like to see? And he's like, yeah. And so then I pulled out like my mushroom theme notepads and stickers because I had them on me. I have them on me for my meeting today. He was like, wow, oh, you made those yourself. I was like, yeah, I designed them and got them manufactured. And and he's like, yeah. And then he just like got it. He's like, okay, that's really cool. And um, I hope it does really well. And, and then he said something about like, I hope you have a bigger bag because that one doesn't have mushroom. <laughs> something. He made a mushroom pun. And I was like, I like you. I like it <laughs> like just really made my day so I was really I was really happy uh, after that interaction okay just got out of the meeting with my business coach and um, that went really well she is so enthusiastic and excited uh, with me for things and I really love that and need that she gives a lot of validation and positive feedback whilst also giving me ideas and suggestions and just I feel like I'm on the, like I'm on the right path. It's nice to have that validation and I'm really grateful for this program that I'm you know, it's, this is all part of my business course. I get all of this included. I'm grateful for this program because it's like keeping a little fire under my butt whilst at the same time giving me positive validation. Maybe this is a neurodivergent thing, maybe this is a trauma thing, but I really really benefit from positive reinforcement. Um and it really makes me want to do better. I'm like a puppy dog. And if you say, who's a good boy? I'm like, am I a good boy? And they're like, you're a good boy. I'm like, fuck here yeah, I am, wag my tail. So yeah, very grateful for that. She said that she wishes that her, the rest of her clients were as enthusiastic and obsessed with their business as, as me. <laughs> so, Cause I'm like fully obsessed with it. And yeah, it's just really nice. I really recommend business coaches if you can access one. I'm so grateful for this program. Honestly, I could not afford any of this stuff. So I'm oh so good. Um, now I'm going to go see my mum. So I'll film there if I remember. I hope I remember. I'm at mum's and I remember to film for once. <laughs> uh, mum hasn't seen my stuff in person. So I'm going to do, do a little reaction. <laughs> That's what going to have on people when they open it. Yeah. Actual cardboard stuff. This is one of my packages. Oh wow. I didn't see this before. Well, this is my thank you card. Oh. I just got it. I was going to say, because that's something different. Yes. Yeah. so colourful. <laughs> oh, and everything is so sweet. 
Oh, yeah, so yeah. if you feel it's really nice yeah. and soft, that's the texture yeah. of that's the, the texture. Yeah. yeah. And I'll write their names in the first block and sign it in the second block. Oh yeah. So that yeah. goes with their order, little each little order. That yeah. Says, Thank you for your business or whatever. Yeah. 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 Cute. I like that. I really like it. Reminds me of like Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little cottages. Yeah. 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 And then I put them in little sets. Oh yeah. Okay. Just so it's easier yeah. to tell what goes with what. Yeah. I mean, that's, and then like now I know with the shimmer. Yeah. yeah look at that shimmer. <laughs> You can feel them and all that stuff yeah. now. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the only one that has a back. Oh, okay. That that was a test because they did it as a discount, so I wanted to see what it was like. I love how you've got all the windows and little doors, and all, each little mushroom is just such a little, little <laughs> life, you know, like a little fungi town. And I didn't know you were doing a separate little sticker. Yeah, isn't it cute? It is the cutest. The best thing that makes your stuff cute is that little eye. <laughs> the way you do your eyes, it's just like, they just come to life. His name is Fungus. Fungus. <laughs> we can call him Gus for short, but it's Fungus. Gus, fungus. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, this is the one I like You've seen this, this one. one. Yeah. And now I can see, it's also got a shine to it too. Yeah, you can rub it and see what and the like paper's like. It, yeah. And I can see the shimmer and the shine. Yeah. And this is one I said to you, I really liked how you've got the faded out picture in the background. I yeah. Like that because it doesn't take up the lines. You can still write over it and you don't have to fuss about that you're writing on the actual picture. Yeah. You know what I mean, like if it was, if that house was too bold, too bold, then you want, you don't want to write you it. You don't want to write it. Yeah. <laughs> so that, the fact that then the little daisies in the background in the house, it's really, really good. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. And the cardboard's good. You got a nice thickness. Yeah. I was worried, but it turns yeah. out pretty good. Yeah. And a nice, Nice thickness of them too. You've got quite yeah, like, you know, it's not too thin, 50, not too fat. 50, about 50 pages, I think. Yeah. And then I want to learn how to put magnets this on the back. Is, this is going to be my, my like, like my shopping thing. Yeah. That's the one I'm going to get. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so that's now you've got the new yeah. ones. With the so you can see that the antenna is supported. Yeah. yeah. You know, you were right about that. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's cute. And that one's the only sticker with a backing as well, because she always have um, hearts in her eyes. Yeah, did. yeah, she did. Yeah, she's the that she's the love bug edition yeah. of her BB. Oh, that's the cutest. Yeah, that's the, that's really really cute. The sticker was gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then you've had yeah, I have seen this one. This is your first one. Yeah. This is, is going to be. Oh, I love this one. This one looks like it's like one drugged. <laughs> what I was going for like yeah, yeah it's just like so loved and there's a the idea is yeah the idea is that he um she's love drunk on pollen yeah that's yeah. it yeah yeah that's what I meant like I meant yeah. drunk or drugged or whatever on, yeah. on the flowers and stuff not on anything you know? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's to do any rewards yeah. yeah that one I learned how to do barcodes so I'm on the back um all right I'll, I'll start doing that when I sell them at markets so yeah. I can scan them into my little phone. Pad, that's how you tell the difference. Yeah. And I like the little whoosh in this little, yeah. the only one that's got little whoosh cheeks. Yeah. yeah. That's my first my product. First lot. <laughs> yeah. This is the texture, nice and smooth. Yeah. And I like too how you can pull off the daisies and the shapes and the hearts or the whole, is it like yeah. a, is a sticker pretty much. Yeah. yeah. And the bean's bum. <laughs> the bee's bum. He's the drunk one, he's there. Yeah. yeah and then he's sucking the nectar even, and that yeah. one doesn't have the back in yeah. there. So that one's, that one's like a storyline, like Habibi finds the flower, they're all excited, and then yeah. hops into the flower into and has a drink through the straw and like yeah. with the butt out, and then the last picture is like mm. afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Really cute. That's really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Like, you know, that you thought about it, you're going to do it now. Here they all are. There's the finished products all ready to go almost you know yeah well they are ready to go yeah got your thank you cards oh. as well launch and so start excitement excitement i'm home from my day this big ass thing arrived <laughs> find out what it is i think i ordered more cello bags um in a4 size so i could package you know if you buy more than one notepad that there's enough space i was gonna offer you half a donut like. oh donut donut mind if i do <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, where I put my mouth? <laughs> Don't answer that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Ah. Mmm. Oh, it's a little cold on the inside. Mm -hmm. Two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. How long was, how long was this going for? Two minutes. You did two minutes? Two minutes. This is from Mum. 
Thanks, man. I should have boiled the kettle down there, should I? What? I'll wait till you're done to boil the kettle. It's okay. It's just a kettle. Are you sure? It doesn't go beep! Okay. <laughs> what was that again? Beep! No, that's the wrong size. Are you serious? Oh, no, that's right. That's right. I bought small ones and big ones. I bought little ones and big ones. I forgot. <laughs> I bought little cellophane. There. <laughs> Got little cellophane bags so that they fit inside of the small A6 envelopes that I have. So that way your stickers are protected. And I also bought a four size ones because I'm going to be ordering a four size boxes that could hopefully, technically, hopefully, maybe, maybe still fit through here. These can fit through here. So these could be cheaper. Just put some eyes on it and feel like I'm feeding them every time I'm testing. But that's perfect. And this is like the right thickness. I don't know why I find this thing so fucking helpful. Look at it, brother! I could put the things in here. <laughs> put them in here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just so grateful to that postal worker. He was, he was cool. He was, he was the coolest guy. He was so nice. Yeah. So nice. So I'm very excited if you can't tell. Eat little bags! Little biodegradable cellophane baggies! They're so small! I would put them in here, right? Now, I don't think this can fit a thank you card. So, if you buy just a couple stickers, I don't think you'll get the full size thank you card. We'll see. I don't know yet. We're finding out right now. We're doing it live! Does a thank you card fit in here? Oh! <gasps> it does! Okay. So, you might get a thank you card. I haven't decided whether thank you cards are only going out to certain price points or not, so we'll we'll learn that as we go. I can send that as a letter and hopefully get you guys cheaper postage for the tiny ones. I don't know how to set that up on Shopify yet, but I'll figure it out. That's my job this week. That's so clever and cute. I love that. These are the A4 cellophane mailer wrapper thingies. I don't know what to call them. Okay, 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 okay. Let's use the bung notepads that have the peeling glue, which by the way, the manufacturer is correcting. They're also investigating why it keeps happening. And I think that's because of me. So I might have just helped a printing company upskill. Who knows? One of these notepads is a third of an A4 sheet of paper. So all three of them together makes one sheet. I know, it sounds crazy. Who is she? How is this possible? What is this magic? There they fit. Three in there, and I can take this shut, and then they're nice and safe. Solutions! I only bought a hundred of each of those cellophane bags too, so I'm probably going to need to stock up on them later. And I'll order as I need. I'll figure it out as I go. We're doing a lot. Fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, when, uh, when I ordered my cards, my thank you cards, I got nervous because I counted them and there was 140. Oh, 142. And I was like, didn't I order 250? I was like, no, that was a business card. How many of these did I order? A hundred. But I have 140. Um, they cooked. <laughs> they continuously are cooking. They just they a fucking cauldron. They just made me a fuck ton more. I was like, whoa. Dude, fuck yeah. Maybe they feel bad because they keep fucking up my notepad. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> At the moment I have 27 little compartments to put stickers so that means I can design 27 stickers for now and then I can add another divider and that might give me like another nine spots and that'll that'll keep me going for a while because that's, that's two but yeah you can just pull them out and grab your sticker it's not as good as the little drawer systems I've seen everyone have and also they keep touching each other and moving each other around so that's going to bother me but I think I can figure out a way to get around that if I just put something to divide in between the two. It's Luna from the future here and I'm going to wrap up this video. Present me is post-launch and I gotta tell you it was amazing. 
I will tell you more about that in about two vlogs time and keep an eye out because I'm gonna try and get the next vlog out as quick as possible so that we're caught up because I am so behind on vlogs and um, the the launch put me even further behind which is a, a problem you want to have but oh my god it was so good I'll tell you more about that real soon thank you all so much by the way uh, I'll thank you in the future vlog but I'm gonna thank you now as well blew my mind blew my mind remember you are safe you are valid you are loved and I will see you in the next one Ooh, goodbye <laughs>